Good morning and Happy New Year. Welcome to presentation of the Blessed Virgin Mary Parish as we celebrate the Solemnity of Mary, Mother of God. If you are visiting us today, we welcome you and invite you to worship with us again. During Mass, we invite you to listen to the words of the songs and allow them to lift you up into prayer. Please rise as you are able. Angels from the realms of glory wing your flight o'er all the earth. You who sang creation story now proclaim Messiah's birth. Come and worship, come and worship, Worship Christ, the newborn King. Shepherds in this abiding, watching o'er your flocks by night. God on earth is now residing, yonder shines the infant light. Come and worship. Come and worship, worship Christ, the newborn King. Sages, leave your contemplations, wonder visions beam afar. Seek the great desire of nations, you have seen his morning star. Come and worship, come and worship, worship Christ the newborn King. Though an infant, now we feel him, he shall fill his heavenly throne. Gather all the nations to him, Every knee shall then bow down. Come and worship, come and worship, Worship Christ the newborn King. Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Oh, you're, just, you're still waking up, huh? <laughs> Long night. Well, what a joy it is for us to come together and celebrate this new year uh, by giving God praise and thanksgiving to, for this new day, for this new year. And as we come together to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let's take a moment to uh, call to mind our sins and ask our Lord for forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you are the mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heaven King, 
O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the fruitful virginity of Blessed Mary bestowed on the human race the grace of eternal salvation, grant, we pray, that we may experience the intercession of her through whom we were found worthy to receive the author of life, our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to Aaron and his sons and tell them, This is how you shall bless the Israelites. Say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. So shall they invoke my name upon the Israelites, and I will bless them. The word of the Lord. May God bless us in his mercy. God bless us in his mercy. Oh God, be gracious and bless us, and let your face shed its light upon us. So will your ways be known upon earth, and all nations learn your salvation. Let all the nations be glad and shout for joy. With uprightness you rule the peoples, you guide the nations on earth. Let all the peoples praise you, O God, let all the peoples praise you. May God still give us his blessing, that all the ends of the earth may revere him. God bless us in his mercy. May God bless us in his mercy. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, when the fullness of time had come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to ransom those under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons. As proof that you are sons, God sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then also an heir through God. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Hey. 
last God spoke to my ancestors through the prophets. In these last days he has spoken to us through the Son. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The shepherds went in haste to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told them about the child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been told them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things, reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been told to them. When eight days were completed for his circumcision, he was named Jesus, the name given him by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. The Gospel of the Lord. The year was 428, and things weren't so good in the church. The, the sea at Constantinople, one of the main pillars of the church, was vacant. So along with Antioch, St. Peter's first church, and Alexandria, and Rome, the biggest sea of the Roman Empire, where the capital was, was vacant. And so the Emperor Theodosius II dominated and, and uh, got an archbishop whom he had heard before from the school of Antioch. His name was Nestorius. When the Bishop of Alexandria, Clement, or not Clement, I'm sorry, uh, Cyril of Alexandria, when he heard of this, he was very concerned because he knew Nestorius was teaching something that was he felt was very wrong and it has to do with this the title of Mary this day the Theotokos the early church had used that term for Mary because at the council of Nicaea 100 years earlier they had put forth the faith that we profess in our creed even today that Jesus was both fully God and fully human God from God light from light, true God from true God. Those were the words they added to the Apostles' Creed because of the controversies that were surrounding just who Jesus was at, the at that time. They thought they had put that to rest, but Nestorius couldn't wrap his mind and heart around this mystery of the incarnation that we celebrate this Christmas season. He couldn't fathom how Jesus could become both God and man at the same time, where the natures were still separate but unified in what we call the hypostatic union. He couldn't do that, and so he rejected the title of Mary as Theotokos because he reasoned that Mary could not give birth to God. Instead, he decided that in juggling with this problem that Mary gave birth to the human Jesus, which was separate from the divine Jesus that the Holy Spirit incarnated. And so he taught that this person of Jesus was actually two people, two natures in this one body, human and divine, not both human and divine, but separate. And so Cyril knew this, that he had been teaching this, and so he wrote the Pope, Celestine I, about this and asked him to censure Nestorius for this teaching and set him on the straight and narrow. 
and, the, and Nestorius knew that this was coming. And so he asked the emperor to call an ecumenical council of all the bishops of the world to gather together so that Nestorius thought he could come out on top of this controversy. However, Theodosius, so Theodosius said, yes, we will call a council and ask the pope to do that. And they assembled in the town of Ephesus three years later. It took them that long to get this whole process through with the communications of the time, not quite like modern day. And so Cyril and his group came and the Roman pontiff Celestine sent an emissary and a group of bishops to Ephesus. They arrived earlier. Cyril wanted to start the conference right then and there, but he had to wait for Nestorius and the group to come up from Alexandria or from Constantinople to Ephesus before he could do that. And then he kind of tricked the papal envoy to proclaim the opening of the council at that time before some of the, the bishops that backed Nestorius, specifically John of Antioch and that group, could make it. And when John came up with his bishops, he was pretty ticked off that the council had been started without him. And so he decided to have his own little council in, co in uh, conflict with the bigger one. But when all was said and done, Nestorius's position was anathematized. It was proclaimed heresy, and he was exiled to a monastery. And after, just before he died, he did recant that and accept this title of Mary as Theotokos, the God-bearer, the mother of God. And that's what we celebrate today on this octave of Christmas, that the role of Mary in the mystery of the incarnation and how she fully cooperated with God's spirit and God's will to make the Savior happen for mankind to bring in this incarnation of God made man, both God and man, to live among us, to save us from our sins. This holiday, this eighth day, has been known by many titles throughout the church history. One is the octave of Christmas. That eighth day is always very special because it recalls way back in creation when Adam and Eve were set out into the garden on the eighth day after God rested. It was the first day that they were in creation, tending the garden that God had provided for them in paradise. And so with these special times of the church year, especially Christmas and Easter, we celebrate an octave. We make it happen so that eight days we celebrate the same feast. Christmas is a little unusual because we have some of the important saints days in there like St. John the Holy Innocents and St. Stephen. But every day is a little Christmas in this eighth day. And so it used to be called the octave of Christmas. It was also called the circumcision of Christmas from the 1500s up to the 1960s. Maybe some of you even remember that vaguely in your memory. And of course, the gospel today recognizes that on the eighth day when Jewish parents would bring their firstborn male to the temple and redeem him by sacrificing whatever they could afford from a lamb down to turtle doves if they were poor like Mary and Joseph did. And so the verse says when eight days were completed for his circumcision. And so we celebrate that today too. But Pope Paul VI reintroduced this holiday for Mary, this feast day for Mary, with the title Theotokos, Mary, the mother of God. When he did that, he wrote that it was a, he felt it was a fitting end to the octave of Christmas, that this eighth day would center on Mary's role in the incarnation, her role in becoming the mother of God, that the queen of peace would give birth to the prince of peace. He wanted it to renew our adoration for that Prince of Peace on this eighth day as we continue to celebrate this Christmas season. That word peace is reflective in the first reading, if you remember. 
how God told Aaron and Moses to bless the people of Israel. And that last phrase is to give them peace. This word shalom in Jewish meant more than just the absence of conflict. It meant qualities like happiness, good health, prosperity, friendship, and a general sense of well-being. How wonderful it is for us to meditate and pray about that word peace today. So when God wishes us peace, it is more than just the absence of conflict. It is for all of these things. He wishes us to be well, to be happy, to be blessed, to have this general well-being, this gift that he wants us, to have the abundant life that the Prince of Peace came to give us. Today, and that is the gift that Jesus brings us this Christmas season, the peace that passes beyond all understanding. And so today we celebrate being a child of God and living in that peace. We celebrate that we too can be sort of like Mary and bringing God to other people this new year. As we begin, we can ask ourselves, how do I bring peace to those clearest, nearest to me, to my family, to those I meet every day, to the people around me, my coworkers? How am I an agent of God's peace in my world so that I can be like Mary and be that God-bearer, bringing him to other people? And so as we begin this new year, we can ask that same blessing on God that God gave his people Israel on us as we begin this new year and as we try to make Jesus alive in our world this year. Mary cooperated fully with God's will. May we do the same. And may the Lord bless us and keep us. May he let his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. May the Lord look upon us kindly and give us his peace. Coming together as God's family, we profess our belief. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Knowing how much our Heavenly Father loves us and desires us to come to Him as His beloved children, we bring to Him now these petitions. That Mary, Mother of the Church, will guide and protect the Church with her motherly love, 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. On this world day of peace, that Mary, the Queen of Peace, will intercede and bring lasting peace to the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the intercession of Mary will draw our parish community closer to Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all families, that this new year will be a time of peace and abiding love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the needs of those for whom we are praying for on our parish prayer line, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our family members who are homebound and shut in, that they may be drawn deeper into the presence of Jesus in their lives with an increase of hope and joy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick and suffering, especially for mental illness, addictions, disease, and the winter weather, that the Mother of Mercy will be their consolation and their joy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have been called to the banquet of eternal life, especially Leo Weber, father of Kathy Maitanen, and for those who grieve for them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the people of Presentation Parish, for whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, in your great love for us, you gave us your only Son to save us, to nourish us, and to give us life eternal. But not only him, Lord, in your great love for us, you gave us your own mother to watch over and guide her children to bring us to her son, the Prince of Peace. And so we thank you for these great gifts, and yet we ask for more. Hear these prayers spoken and unspoken in the signs of our hearts and make them your own. Through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Oh, 
to see his Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. For the praise, praise and, and glory of his name, name for, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O oh God, who in your kindness begin all good things and bring them to fulfillment, grant to us who find joy in the solemnity of the Holy Mother of God, that just as we glory in the beginnings of your grace, so one day we may rejoice in its completion through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. To lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the solemnity of the motherhood of the blessed ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth for the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Bernard, our Bishop, Andrew, his auxiliary, and all those who holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. And all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you, for them we offer you the sacrifice of praise, or they offer for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. Celebrating the most sacred day on which Blessed Mary, the Immaculate Virgin, brought forth the Savior for this world, and in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damien, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven to you, O God, his almighty Father. Giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, 
and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, once supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who, through this participation at the altar, receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with a sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who those sinners, hope in your abundant mercies. Graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. From a distance, let us offer each other a sign of peace. peace. 
Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world. Of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy they should, they should enter under my roof, but, but only say, say the word, and my soul shall be, shall be healed. My dear brothers and sisters, those of you who are live streaming, I encourage you now to make an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. <laughs> Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Oh, sing a new song to the Lord, for He has worked wonders. His right hand and His holy arm have brought salvation. Oh, Lord, has made known his salvation, has shown his deliverance to the nations. He has remembered his merciful love and his truth for the house of Israel. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. with you. 
Let us pray. We have received this heavenly sacrament with joy, O Lord. Grant, we pray, that it may lead us to eternal life, for we rejoice to proclaim the blessed ever Virgin Mary, Mother of your Son and Mother of the Church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. As I said in the beginning, Merry Christmas to all and a Happy New Year. Uh, as Deacon said in his homily, may this new year bring us peace. And it's more than just uh, an absence of conflict, right? It's one in which, as we hear throughout the Mass, we wish it upon each other and we ask for our Lord's blessing to bring peace to all of us. So goodwill, health, and all the other good stuff that our Lord desires for us in our lives. So may we live in that peace and share that with one another. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May God, the source and origin of all blessing, grant you grace, pour out his blessing in abundance, and keep you safe from harm throughout the year. Amen. May he give you integrity in the faith, endurance in hope, and in perseverance and charity with holy patience to the end. Amen. Amen. May he order your days and your deeds in his peace, grant your prayers in this and in every place, and lead you happily to eternal life. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks. Thanks be to God. of love, oh Maria.
triumph all ye cherubim, sing with us ye seraphim. Heaven and earth resound the hymn, Salve, Salve, Salve Regina. The cause of joy to all below, O Maria, the spring through which all graces flow, O Maria. Angels, all your praises bring, earth and heaven with us sing. All creation echoing, salve, 